Hey, I get to take my half hour walk in the, the sunlight today. Look at that. Um, you know, it makes the video a little less crappy. So, you know, by law, I have to take a half hour break for every eight hours I work. I can't drive again until I've taken the half hour break. So I opt to walk it. You know, I sit for a living. So that's not good on your legs. That's not good on your body. And it's a vibrating sit because I'm bouncing up and down, especially here I am in Kentucky. These roads suck. They are among the worst that I deal with. And clearly coming in and out of Louisville is just 71, 65, an absolute nightmare. But besides the point is, especially if you sit a lot, man, you gotta move. Sitting isn't uh, the healthiest thing for you. <laughs> it's not what our bodies are meant to be, so we're very, you know, we do a lot in this this world of sitting. A lot of people sit at uh, computers. You know, if you can get a standing desk, that's great. But uh, you got to move because it, it's it's not good. If you can take fine 15 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, just walk. Man, it makes a big deal uh, when you can get a half hour in um, of walking. Um, makes a big deal in your day. Makes a big deal in your energy. Yeah, I. Before I just started doing this, man, I'd feel tired, especially with, a lot of times I'm walking about two, three in the morning, which is uh, messing with your circadian rhythm. You really have a hard time staying awake between three and six in the morning. That's when your body says, hey, this is really the time we're supposed to be sleeping. So this will really energize me and feel a little tired. Go ahead and take my half hour break, walk for a half hour. By the time the sun comes up, you know, I'm fully energized till the sun comes up. Of course, once the sun comes up, I get energized again, if I like it or not, because that's, your body says, sun's up, time to wake up, no matter how tired you are. So, um, you get that second wind. And on another note, you need to remember this. This walking's real important. As a professional driver, I see this a lot. You know, there's a lot of people that think they can get off work Friday afternoon, and they make good time drive all night to grandma's house. You can't. One, you worked all day on Friday. Two, you're normally, if, especially if these be people who are normally asleep, you know, 10, 8 to 10, 11 p.m. and sleep till 4, 8 in the morning. I do this for a living. I'm a professional driver. My job is almost exclusively all overnight driving. Even last night, I was up at 10 p.m. Granted, I didn't start driving till 3 4 because there was delays, but I still awake because that's the hours I'm awake. Even I who do this day in, day out, know all the signs of fatigue and closely monitor them, still sometimes have a difficult time driving between that 3 and 6. It's just it's part of the natural rhythm. So, I beg everyone, if you are, yeah, I ducked as soon as I saw that tree. Did you see that? <laughs> but if you are traveling, you know, on a weekend, we have holidays coming up, um, and you want to drive, one, don't drive all night. Be, ready, be prepared to take a nap. You get tired, please pull over in a rest area. Pull over, you know, somewhere safe, but pull over and get some rest because it is some of the worst crashes I've seen is people falling asleep three four in the morning they cross the median they go into a ditch it's scary and uh, I don't want to see anyone hurt and, and if you can have someone else with you I mean yes coffee helps and rolling down the windows but it's taking a nap or getting some exercise you're not sleeping at night I, I actually and you're used to sleeping at night I actually suggest stopping and taking a nap two three hour nap you know in the car um, whatever uh, but if and you've got someone else with you they have to stay awake if you're the passenger and someone else is driving through the night you have to stay awake um, with them because I just don't like people doing it don't get off work on Friday and think you can drive to grandma's house um, all night and be there Saturday morning one it's a pretty miserable Saturday because you're exhausted two it's a horrible way to start a vacation you go camping you're fully exhausted oh I've done it a thousand times it always works yeah until it doesn't I mean professional drivers people who work at night we struggle with this and sometimes they fail there's there's one out there in 71 
I can tell just by the accident. Man, that dude fell asleep. There's no brake marks going in that. He went out into the he went out into the woods. Professional driver, you know. He should know better. He should know all the signs. The moment you feel a little, a little nod, the, if you can't remember the last mile, time to stop. And just please be safe. But hey, if you sit at your desk all day, or even if you're driving a long day, you just get up on Saturday and you're gonna drive to grandma's house, stop and take a half hour walk. The fatigue will go away. It's really helpful if you can get 10, 15 minute breaks throughout your day if you're sitting to get out, walk a little. Man, it makes all the difference in the world. Before I started doing this, I used to have to take naps and sometimes I'd have to stop because it'd be too dangerous and I'd have to take a little nap. Now, man, exercise and healthy diet, I don't have a problem getting through the whole night. But, I do walk at night and you know this is what i do for a living so i monitor myself closely and i'm not afraid to stop and take a nap at freight i don't care if i get in trouble or not and i won't because i work for a company that if you said hey i was tired they go hey good for you so be safe